Colourful characters like Elijah with his uh, hair shirt and, and Elisha with his bald head and crazy miracles like fire coming from heaven and, and an axe head floating and then great battles and great buildings and great disasters. What isn't there to love about the books of 1 and 2 Kings? And yet for many of us these are unfamiliar parts of scripture. In our morning services, we're continuing to uh, go through John's Gospel with our accessible church feel, so please keep praying about that and bringing friends along for them to hear about Jesus. But in our evening services, we've got an opportunity to go a little bit deeper and explore these unfamiliar books from the Old Testament. And they do feel unfamiliar, as if we're, we're plunged back into a strange and ancient world. So why am I excited about exploring them together on these Sunday evenings? Well, I'm standing here by, by the city walls of, of Southampton, this kind of iconic symbol of our, our own culture and, and history. And perhaps the big question for us as the people of God in this city is, what does it look like in a community when God steps in and takes charge? That's important for us as a church community, but it has knock-on overspill implications for our vision for this city where God has placed us and what emerges in the great story of the kingdom here is a vision for human life in which in which human life is enriched by by wisdom in which human beings flourish there are these great building projects and and great artistic endeavors provoking interest all around the world and and then a vision for human life in which justice matters and is maintained but perhaps most of all, it's a vision for human life which has God at the very centre. He's, he's present, he's living among his people in that great temple where his people gather to worship him. Of course, what we're seeing in the story of, uh, of the kingdom here in 1 and 2 Kings is not the full ideal of the kingdom. We get glimpses of that, but only glimpses, because it's not until the real king, Jesus, comes that the full kingdom uh, emerges. But the glimpses are very wonderful and very inspiring. The story itself, well, it's, it's quite a chequered story, moving from the high of King Solomon to the very low point of, of the exile to Babylon. But all the way through the story, God is speaking to his people and therefore establishing and strengthening his kingdom. Sometimes it's a word of, of confrontation, where his people are failing to live up to the vision that he's given them for the kingdom. Sometimes it's a word of comfort, as God reassures them that he has grace for their failures. So don't give up on evening church, but come along and, and get stuck in with these, these great books that we're going to be exploring together. And as you come, be ready to be inspired by a vision of the kingdom. Be ready to be challenged as we hear the call to live out the kingdom today. And be ready to be comforted that in our failures, God has grace to deal with us gently and to restore us. Thank you.